Good morning, guys. Please excuse the awkward camera angle. I've kind of had to jam into my toolbox just so I can uh, hold it. I don't have anything to hold the camera out here. So I just want to give uh, a quick tip that um, a lot of people may not be aware of. Uh, when you have a dial thermometer of just about any type and just about any make, you can usually calibrate them. And you won't find this in the instructions. In fact, they'll probably tell you not to mess with, with it if you actually ask them. But I have done this to numerous thermometers and it's always worked out. The reason you can calibrate these is because they use a press fit design. So notice the red needle. And we look at the back here and we see there's three different components. It's probably hard to see in the camera. So we have the outer ring and that's crimped over like that. And that holds in our protective glass. It also holds in the uh, metal disc or cup back here, which holds that has the numbers and stuff on it. Next, we have our actual body. And our body is what is attached to the numbers. So these numbers here are attached to this body. Lastly, we have this bushing. On some cheaper ones, they may not have much of a bushing here. Maybe just a little disc and it'll make it a little bit more difficult. You can try clamping the main rod of the, of the thermometer. Um, I would be careful with that uh, just because you could crimp it. But a, a bushing like this is quite strong. So what we need to do is we need to take the numbers, which are on here, and the needle, which is referenced off of the rod and the bushing, and we need to adjust them. Now this one's already set and I don't want to mess it up because I actually got to go use it right now. But I'll show you. So we take a pair of pliers. But uh, so we want to grab our body like this. And then this bushing or this ferrule is going to be grabbed as well. Like that. And then you'll need a fair bit of hand strength. Uh, if you can't do it uh, solo, get a friend to give you a hand. And you're going to twist these either towards each other or away from each other depending on which way we need the needle to move. Now this one by Kate's Garden was actually pretty good. It was only about two degrees Fahrenheit, but because I'm using uh, heat mats and uh, heat mat controllers that have a digital readout, um, I wanted to be a little bit more accurate. I like to use a thermometer like this to uh, just double check that the uh, adequate heat's getting where it needs to go. Um, there's temperature probes attached to the, uh, the heat controllers, but um, you know, it's a good idea to check because uh, depending on how you place that temperature probe in the soil, um, you know, if you're closer to the, to the seedling heat mat, uh, it'll read hotter than the soil really is. If you're farther away, it'll read colder. And uh, this is, a I find, a good, accurate way to help with that. So hopefully this just gives you another tip in your toolbox there. And one final note would be that um, if on the back of your thermometer you see a little nut, usually the brass, might be a flathead, might be a hex nut. Um, that is a uh, manufacturer built-in um, temperature adjustment or calibration option. And so they've actually made it so that the end user can calibrate it uh, themselves. And then your life gets a lot easier because you just have to adjust that little nut. The only downside with those is that if you're not careful, sometimes you can knock them out of calibration. So I'm going to show you an example of a thermometer that has an adjustment built into it. Ashcroft, I think, does this with most of their thermometers, so there should be one on here. Wow, they do a really good job of boxing this. So this is a little different thermometer, but it's the same principle. So you'll notice there's a little adjustment screw, and by turning that, we can calibrate the thermometer and it is a easier way to go. Usually it's not something you find on the lower quality thermometer. Um, you know, an Amazon type of thing usually won't have it, but uh, it's a good thing to keep in mind because you don't wanna be um, wrenching on this if you don't have to. And if you can just use a built-in adjustment, that's perfect. It says reset, it's labeled reset, um, but calibration, this means the same thing. And 
Ashcroft makes a very fine thermometer. If you need something that's very precise over a large temperature range, I recommend Ashcroft. But that said, for uh, compost or um, greenhouse propagation, having a thermometer that's uh, deadly accurate is a little bit overkill. At the end of the day, if, if we are out half a degree with this one, not such a big deal. You can see this has a very large temperature range from 50 all the way up to 550 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. In order to keep a thermometer with this large of a temperature range accurate, it needs to be better quality. Now when calibrating thermometers, uh, one other point to keep in mind is you want to calibrate them so that uh, the calibration temperature you're using is uh, right in the range um, that is, is most uh, useful for that particular thermometer. So if this was going to be done in compost, um, what I'd do is I'd take a known thermometer and I'd put it in the compost with this, or I would use some uh, warm water and have a known thermometer, one that's known to be good, and then uh, reference it. Um, however, this, I'm less concerned about the accuracy of the compost. I honestly don't care if it's a few degrees off in the compost. What I really need to know down to the degree is how our seedlings are doing. And our seedlings are going to be in the 18 to 22 uh, Celsius. So that's like uh, 65 to 75 ish Fahrenheit. So when I calibrated this one, I calibrated it at 72 degrees. It's much easier to build a cheaper thermometer like this um, and have the accuracy uh, reasonable. So guys, I hope that gives you a couple of tips on uh, calibration of thermometers. And at the end of the day, we all just want to have uh, more accuracy or get the best that we can out of our tools. And thermometers are no different. You know, they are a reference point for us for many things. And so accuracy is important. So I hope this helps. You guys have a great day and we'll see you next time.